Today I want to quickly talk about a mistake that a lot of people do in the strength training, especially the young guys or the guys with a big ego or the big drive to show the world how strong they are. Um, don't test your strength, build your strength, because the bigger the base, the bigger the peak and a lot of people have this tendency to test their 1RM, they want to see how strong they are, they want to beat the records all the time. It's not a good long-term approach, uh, because uh, if you really are not competing in anything, if you are training for yourself, then testing 1RM, it's really not worth it that much. You can do it for fun, like two or three times a year and I mean really testing 1RM grinding and, and stuff, not just doing singles there's a difference uh, as long as you are progressing in your rep ranges the trend is upwards that means you are getting stronger and you can see in the mirror on, on, on the scale if you are getting bigger because you know the cost of testing one RM is big. Mm, it's very draining on your nervous system. It's mentally draining. It can affect the next session or your current session on the one that you are testing. Uh, you can injure yourself or you can be just mm, depressed because you failed a rep and you want to beat some records so um, I think it's better to do your base work and you can incorporate singles at RPE 7 or 8 so it's pretty heavy single but it's not maximal and this way you can train your nervous system to exert almost maximal force to exert power and you can see if you are actually getting stronger from your base building if the trend is going upwards and the singles will also prepare you for the testing of the 1RM when the time comes but really don't test too often just slowly progress through your phases, through your rep ranges, add weight slowly and steady, deload if you have to and you can test 1RM at the end of some long phase of training to see how this phase works for you but you don't have to, you don't have to ever test your 1RM really, it just just fun to, to, to see or if you are competing in something then this is the time to test it really the best time but besides that I would recommend to just incorporate singles if you really want you just do for example um, they are doing dips so you can do dip plus plus 60 kilo uh, and for example your true one rm max is really like around 80 kilo so doing 60 kilo is pretty easy and after that you are doing your 5x5 five five at I don't know 45 kilo 5x5 five five. And this way you are, you are seeing where you are, you are training singles, you are training your nervous system, you activate your nervous system, the 5x5 five five might be easier after that, because you just over warm up, and I think that's a good way, and don't uh, keep the singles at all times during your training, because at some point those singles will stop working, you can just do a single 
every time you do 5x5 five five, for example and every time add a kilo or two to the single because at some point you will hit the wall so use it strategically and use it all, all, at all times and don't test your strength at all times just think always long term build the pace slowly get better 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 because the most important thing in training is not to get injured because when you get injured everything stops it's better to go slower but always go forward then go hard fast then get injured and then a few months of regress or plateau or I don't know so that's it thank you for watching see you in the next one